What's up everyone, it's Alex here at Conscious Personal Growth and in this video I'm going to show you how to take a cold shower but first I'm going to show you how not to take a cold shower. <gasps> Now, that is what you don't want to be doing. Going in all flustered and panicky sounding whilst hyperventilating with these like short, sharp breaths is gonna make the whole thing a lot more horrible than it needs to be. Like sure, walking into a shower is gonna compel you to tense up and feel you know, like it's taking your breath away, especially if you're not used to it. But remember, you are more powerful than the cold shower and it doesn't have to get to you. What you want to be doing is centering yourself, breathing deeply in a way that's powerful, but also nice and relaxed, and going in as calm as possible, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. And when you do this, you're going to be able to take cold showers every day and reap the whole list of science-backed benefits that come with them, which are reduce stress, increased alertness, increased willpower, weight loss stimulation, accelerated muscle recovery, improved skin and hair quality, improved immunity, improved circulation, and a boost to your emotional well-being. Sounds too good to be true? Well, that's because cold showers are awesome. Now, the easiest way to start taking cold showers is to start off hot. Even though I've been taking cold showers for years now, I often still do this, sometimes, as good as you know it will make you feel, you're just not up for jumping in a cold shower straight off the bat. And it's nice to start off with a nice hot shower for as long as you like, and then what you can do is what we call a contrast shower, contrasting between the hot and the cold. What I pretty much do is just time it in my head. So uh, if I'm just beginning to take cold showers, I'll probably go for about 10 seconds, standing underneath. Whack it straight round the cold. It's starting to get cold now. And that will be 10 seconds. And then you can contrast between the two. So that's contrast showers, but what about taking cold showers on their own? Yes, they're super powerful as well. Once you've taken a few contrast showers that are 10 seconds and then maybe 30 seconds long, you can start taking cold showers that are at first one and then two and then three minutes long, but you can start off hot if you want to. Personally, I often like to take a nice long hot shower and then I have a timer ready. So before I go in, I'll set up a timer on my phone for say like three minutes, which is gonna sound an alarm when the time is up. And then I'll leave the phone close by. And then when I'm ready for the cold, I'll step back out, whack it onto cold, dry my hands, press go on the timer and step back in without thinking about it. And that's the key here, without thinking about it. You don't wanna be hesitating and getting yourself all flustered. There's barely any, many, any mental preparation you can do to make it easier. And standing there and thinking about it for ages is just unnecessary suffering. And what you're doing by hesitating too much is hyping it up in your mind and imagining it's gonna be worse than it is, and then it will feel worse than it is. What you want to do is stay centered, breathe deeply, yet staying as relaxed and as calm as possible. Don't tense up, keep your muscles nice and relaxed and just go for it. Try to walk in as if it's nothing. Anyway, say I'm gonna walk straight into a cold shower. The timer is ready with the three minutes. It's running nice and cold and just centering myself, breathe in nice and deeply, but not too like, I'm gonna make yourself lightheaded. And then just walking in as if it's nothing, just imagining that it's nothing. So that's coming around about just under 10 degrees there, nearly nine degrees. And the thing is about water temperature is that it feels about five degrees colder than you know the equivalent air temperature so not absolutely freezing but pretty cold oh and a bonus tip after several weeks you might end up like i did 
progressing up to cold showers that are like 10 minutes long. And what I like to do with cold showers that are that long is play some music. There's like some tool tracks that I love that are pretty triumphant sounding and some of them are around about 10 minutes long. So it can be pretty epic to take a 10 minute long cold shower with like tool blaring out. But this is only for people who are advanced in this and I've spent a few weeks working up to like 10 minutes this amount of time. So know your limits, build up slowly in small increments every week and stay safe. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe for more videos helping you with conscious personal growth.